Hey everyone, this is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21, and today I'll be showing you how to install the Ultor Rising mod for Saints Row 2. Now, in case you're unfamiliar with this mod, Ultor Rising is an overhaul by Misako team that has you play as a Misako soldier. It's honestly a pretty amazing project, and it's not surprising that I've been getting a lot of requests on how to install it. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first things first, we'll need to install Gentleman of the Row. If you already have this mod, please skip to this timestamp in the video. Anyways, look up Gentleman of the Row and the first result should take you to idleninja.com. Scroll down past the Gentleman of the Row trailer and click on the link to install version 1.9.2 of the mod. Now that the mod is downloading, head to saintromods.com. From the homepage, head down to the Saints Row 2 forums and click on Mods in Progress. As of the making of this video, Ultor Rising should be at the top of the first page. Here you can see some videos and read the list of features this mod offers. At the bottom of the first post is links to download the mod. For this tutorial, we'll be downloading version 1.6. With both mods downloaded, extract them to your desktop. Now open each one next to each other. The Ultor Rising file will have a folder inside called the mod. Make sure to open it. Now move over to Gentleman in the Row and click on Optional Mod Stuff. Next, open the Modders Put Your Own Personal Mods here. Move back to Ultor Rising and highlight all the files in the mod folder. Then drag them over. With the Ultor files in that folder, we can now patch them into the game using the Create Custom Patch program. With the program open, press anything to enter the main page. If you don't feel like messing with any of these files, press P then enter. And with that, the patch files will have been created. They can be located inside my custom patch folder. The last thing we need to do now is place these files in Saints Row 2's root folder. If you're not sure where to locate the root folder, a quick way to find it is by going to your Steam library and right clicking on Saints Row 2, then going to Properties. Move over to Local Files then click on Browse Local Files, and there you go. Drag the patch files over and you may be asked to replace some files. One small thing we still need to do is reopen the Ultor Rising file and put its preload TBL file in the Saints Row 2's root folder. And that's it. Start up Saints Row 2 and begin a new game. Make sure to click on the Ultor difficulty and enjoy the mod. Since the last time I discussed this mod, there's been quite a few new features added. Two new activities have been made, the first of which is called Dane Vogel Pictures. This activity has you defending Vogel as he drives you to locations and sells pictures to clients. When you accomplish level 6 of this activity, you unlock Vogel as a homie. The other activity is called Prison Uprising. You play as a prison guard as you fight off waves of prisoners. It can get pretty intense and makes for some chaotic gameplay. Six new things of alcohol and drugs have been added, all with their own models and unique effects. Can't believe a damn clothing company bought my town. Certain weapons have also been altered, like the KS Ultimate that now fires taser pellets. Hidden Ultor stashes have been sprinkled around the map. By collecting them, you'll unlock a police, SWAT, and FBI outfit. New missions and strongholds have been incorporated, like fighting Marrow and stopping Somdi drug deals. And on to my favorite addition is the Fortified Fortresses. These are open world locations where you need to take out all the targets. One fortress may just have Ronin in it, while others will be filled with ninjas or pirates. Well anyways, I hope you found this video useful for installing Ultor Rising. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Shout out to Misako team for making this awesome mod. Check out his Saintro Mods or YouTube account for more amazing content. Like always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. So, um, since we're all friendly now, been thinking about the story you told me. How Doucette kidnapped and murdered your sister? Is that right?